Tuesday, November 17th, 2020. This is episode 39 of the Hayden Podcast, and I am Hayden Remillard. Thank you guys for listening this week. Today on the podcast, we're going to be talking about five upcoming movies that I'm looking forward to. It's a very, very quick episode of the podcast. Hoping to get a guest on next week, someone that's been on already, and I just hope I can get him back on. Haven't talked to him in a while, so it'll be good to sit down and chat. That's next week on the show, but this week is five movies that I'm looking forward to. They're coming up soon, and I cannot wait to sit down and watch them. Here they are. This week on the podcast, I figured I would do five upcoming movies that I am looking forward to coming out. Since COVID has struck, I've really started to watch movies a bit more. Obviously, we've all been stuck inside, and movies are a right way to, uh, you know, waste some time. So, five movies that are coming soon that I'm looking forward to. Let's get to it. Number one on the list is Black Widow. This was supposed to come out this year, and now it's been set back to May 7th, 2021, which really sucks. We didn't have any Marvel movies this year come out. It's been long. I mean, I wanted, I was looking forward to this. I don't really care for Black Widow that much, but I was looking forward to, you know, just w- sitting down and watching a Marvel movie, especially in the theater. I don't think anything really beats that. Uh, this movie is set between the Civil War and Infinity War movies. I was confused on when this was going to be set, so when I saw this on IMDb, I was glad because I finally know about when this movie is going to be set in the uh, in the timeline of things. It stars Scarlett Johansson, and uh, Internet Movie Database also has Robert Downey Jr. in the cast as well, which is interesting because if you're a Marvel fan, you know what happened to Iron Man in the last movie. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, he's actually in it. I I hope he is. I love Robert Downey Jr. I watched uh, Due Date the other day. He's great in that. He's great in pretty much anything he does. Doolittle wasn't the best, but that's a standalone thing. And again, just I enjoy Marvel movies and not having one in 2020 has really, really sucked. Number two, we're sticking with Marvel here. It's Venom. And this is gonna be the second Venom movie, the second live action Venom movie. And this one's called Venom, Let There Be Carnage, and it's set to come out June 25th, 2021. You know, it seems like it's a long way away, but it's really not. We got a couple more months here, about seven-ish months until then. It's really not a long way out. You know, 2021 seems, even to me, still far away. And we're almost, uh, well, we're halfway through November now by the time you guys are listening to this. The plot for this movie is still unknown. But it is obviously going to be a sequel to the 2018 film. I enjoyed, but it wasn't great. The way that it ends, it definitely leaves you on a cliffhanger with the, I believe it was the post credit scene. I'm glad that they're making a second one, and I hope it's a little bit better than the first one. It stars Tom Hardy, who I enjoy, and Michelle Williams. Tom Hardy's great. He does a lot of good, good work. And I think he's great in the Venom role, definitely. According to IMDb, it's currently in post-production, so... It's already been filmed and it's just getting edited, you know, they're doing all that type of thing. And it will be out uh, June 25th, 2021, if everything goes as planned, which of course we're living in a time where that is not the case with a lot of things. Number three, I I don't know how this one's going to be. It's Space Jam, a new legacy, so a second Space Jam movie. This one's set to come out July 16th, 2021. And it stars uh, LeBron James, Clay Thompson, Anthony Davis, Dillian, uh, Damian Lillard, excuse me, and also some WNBA stars, which is cool. The plot, according to IMDb again, is LeBron James teams up with Bugs Bunny for this long-awaited sequel. That's all that they have there. Obviously, there's been some stuff uh, floating around and some rumors going around Twitter and whatnot about what the movie is really going to be about. I, did, I didn't want to dig too deep. I'm just kind of looking forward to seeing how this one's going to be. I don't think it'll be as good as the first Space Jam, but I think that it will, uh, it'll be all right, you know? Seeing some of the current NBA players in there, LeBron James, Clay, AD, Damian Lillard, that'll be cool, it'll be cool to see. Number four, I have The Batman, and this one is expected March 4th, 2022, and according to Internet Movie Database, they're currently filming the movie. A lot of people are excited about this one. The plot is still unknown. Again, I was looking on Internet Movie Database. 
Robert Pattinson is going to play Batman. This makes him about the ninth actor to play a live action Batman, I believe. I was kind of looking, couldn't really find anything too solid, but I believe that he's the ninth actor to play Batman in a live action movie. So not counting obviously the animated movies or the series or anything like that. A lot of superhero roles don't really get that many, maybe over on the DC side, but certainly not on the Marvel side. Obviously Batman is DC. This movie's gonna be directed by Matt Reeves. He directed the new Planet of the Apes movie. The new ones, not the older ones. I enjoyed those, actually. I haven't watched them in a very long time. I should get around to watching them. Right now, we've been watching uh, Star Wars, which I've really actually enjoyed. I wasn't... I haven't watched Star Wars before, and I don't really know why, but I've really, really enjoyed them, and... The one that we watched last night, oh, which one was it? I believe it's The Last Jedi. One of the newer ones, and I, I really, really, really enjoyed that Star Wars movie. That one's really good. The last one I have on here, and this is going to be more specifically to me and my taste. I don't know if anyone really listening will uh, have the same excitement as I did when I saw that this was coming out. It's called Assassins. I believe it's already out in Japan, but it's supposed to come out in the States on December 11th of this year, December 11th, 2020. It's a documentary about two women who are convicted of killing Kim Jong-un's half-brother. That is really intriguing to me. I didn't even know of this story until I was reading about this movie. And I'm gonna make sure to watch this because I'm very, very excited to see what he shared in this documentary, I believe they're showing their their hearings or their uh, them going through the court system, which is going to be, I'm sure, eye-opening to a lot of people. North Korea is very secretive. We don't always get that inside look at North Korea, so I'm interested to see what this documentary is going to really share about the country and the dictatorship and everything else going on in there. There you have it. Five movies that I'm looking forward to coming up. Again, like I said in the opening, very, very, very quick episode this week. I was trying to get a guest lined up and it just wasn't going to work out with schedules. I hope to have him on next week as, as I love talking to him. And he had a pretty good first episode and I can't wait to have him on the show again. I want to apologize for the microphone last week. I have it a little bit further away from me this week. So I'm hoping it doesn't make those stupid buzzes that it was making last week. Hopefully the production is just a little bit better overall. The microphone was making some weird noises and I wasn't too too sure where that was coming from. So I moved it a little bit away from me. Tried to uh, control my voice a little bit more. So we're going to see how it turns out. Thank you guys as always for listening. If you guys like the show, be sure to head over to anchor.fm forward slash Hayden R. That's anchor.fm forward slash H-A-Y-D-E-N-R. And there you can find links to all of your favorite podcasting apps, including Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, wherever else you listen to podcasts. While you're there, you can also find links to the social media accounts. Be sure to follow those and I'll update them whenever a new episode comes out. Make sure you guys leave a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever else you listen. That helps the show grow. I always love to see and hopefully you guys as the listeners want to see as well. Thank you guys again as always, for listening, and I'll be back next week, hopefully with a guest, for another new episode. See ya.